Welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim's spoiler commentary playthrough. I am Hemburger Chariot, and I am here with my best friend, Mirth Miazzo. Hello, hello, hello! Since we're starting Natsuno's route, and I forgot to get it out before, now I have the BJ prop that can speak. GG! He's so cute, I love him. He's adorable. Um, so last time, we ended up doing a Natsuno chapter that was only 20 minutes long somehow. Um, pretty out of character for this series, considering outside of battle tracks, which tend to just naturally be like 20 minutes long, if I go to my captures playlist, uh, sort by length, and then give my computer- Even Kodos was longer than that. Who? Godos? Yeah, Godos was like an hour. Um, it was surprisingly eventful, a lot more eventful than I remembered. Yeah, the only other chapters that were 20 minutes long were both Iyori chapters, because of course <laughs> they were. Um, ally from the future and opening a door to the dream, and I straight up cannot tell you what happened in them, because it's Iori, nothing happens in them. It's literal fluff. There's a reason they were only 20 minutes long. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna get back into it. Right. So let's see what happens when we don't fail. Because I, I expected it to just be a Game Over style thing. I didn't expect it to actually... Senpai, yeah, I, I remember some of them being Game Overs. So I guess that one wasn't. Mm. Yeah, so we figured out that Yuki is working with the Men in Black. Is Yuki. She's got her own stuff going on, which we will see later. Mm. Minami. Someone's trashed our room again. Also, watch this. I can't believe my one and only Yuki-chan. Gay. Gay. Uh, it so is. It so is. Like, she has... The way she talks about Yuki, the way Yuki talks about her. Lesbian it's... rights. Hello. Lesbians. Let's go. Oh, uh, it's... Uh, I'm torn because... They have all the right chemi chemistry for such a strong ship, but the obvious gets in the way. No, it doesn't. Just because the 2188 version are mother They're and daughter- They're biologically still mother and daughter, though. But they weren't raised that way at all. They're, but they're, they're the same age. Just go with it. They're- this isn't even my affinity for keeping it in the family here. This is just... It's not incest. Not here. This is not incest. This does not do it for me. Uh, I'm not sure I can fully agree. Again, these two are biologically daughter and mother. Like, literally. Oh my god, don't let a little DNA get in the way of a good time. <laughs> I I can't. I wish I couldn't, but I can't, and it's a shame because I love it so much. Well, it's well, not fair. Well, well, while you're suffering inside your glass house, I'm going to be enjoying the based ship of Natsuno and Yuki. Oh, it is a very base ship. I remember going- I still remember, like, right before the reveal happened, you know, when Yuki says, You know, I never approved of, of your relationship with Natsuno. I was like, huh, I guess she got less possessive of her girlfriend. And then the next line is Natsuno saying, Mom. She's working with the men in black. <laughs> oh, yeah. this game likes to torture me. That means she can't know. It's fine. You Childhood friends to enemies to lovers realness. She can't know about BJ. My I don't know how to feel about this anymore. It's so romantically coded. Watch what exactly? Shh. Stand over here, quietly. 
Watch the laundry basket. <laughs> Did you see that, Minami? Crap, this is bad. You know what I think this is? Mm, it's a spy camera from a peeping Tom. <sighs> it's the you know, same creep enough. that trashed this room. He must have set this up. Actually, this is... Uh... This is mine. Yours? Yeah, it's a... It's an alarm clock. A clock? To be fair, they make really wacky alarm clocks. Hmm. And like Japan has always just... been advanced when it comes to tech. Especially, uh, marketable tech, you know. Like, I... I've seen Garfield alarm clocks. There's no limit to anything they can be. Oh no, control adrift. No, Stop. not to know. Stop not going to, to the left. Go forward, go to the BJ. <sighs> I gotta be careful. This is confidential information after all. Gotta pick him so up. So you just carry it around? Yeah, well, the thing is, I can't seem to tell time unless I look at this clock. Oh, That's she really is a bimbo. For. Absolute head empty, no thoughts. Not a thought has ever happened. I mean, I've said worse lies. I mean, you lie when you say that the ending is bad, so... I mean, I'm not lying. I'm not. Well, yeah, I don't think it's bad. I just think it's not. Well, it's, it didn't click with me. Isn't it kind of. big? Lines that you bad. can take out of context. Of course, that's where my brain goes. <laughs> well, where else would it go? For context, my old name was The BL Church. So, combine that with the fact that my Final Fantasy XIV character, his name is Japanese for horny catboy lover. To give you an idea of my personality in case you somehow haven't caught on yet, considering it's like episode 29 or something of this series. I think we all know what your personality is, and I mean, who can blame you? What can I say, man? When the There's game, when the game has men as cute as Sehigahara and Shu and Miura, I mean, what am I gonna do, really? There's too many attractive men in the world who can blame you. Mmm. Also, I just realized that Natsuno has the uh, gold barrettes on both sides. Uh, note to self. Next yep. time I dressed up as her, it's not just on the one side, it's on both. Yeah, I get the feeling that's actually just because they flip the model around. I don't think she really has them on both sides. Hmm. Um. You're going home dressed like that? Uh. I mean, that would make sense, kind of like the Mickey yeah, Mouse series I'm thing. Yeah, I'm just it's in like, a hurry, so... It's just so that they're always visible. Because if you pay attention to the position of her bag, her bag is always behind her. It swaps um. arms. So I don't think it's actually on both sides of her head. Okay, okay, fair enough. To be fair, that sort of detail doesn't necessarily matter. Hmm. I think, yeah, no, wait, no, this is the same, yeah. technically the same, you know, web, so yeah, you don't want to trigger it. Just gotta act casual. On to Tokisaka act, Shrine. Act casual, which is basically impossible when you're trying to. Oh my god, there's a dead body, like, just here. Maybe, I don't know. Too bad we... Uh... Uh, that's a bit at, at what the point is in the timeline. I think we're too early for it, but at some point... There's a dead body, like, there. This poor... Okay, we're here. Poor Tamao from one loop ago. She deserved better. She really did. 
Poor this Tamau, she really deserved better. Poor every Tamau. Tamau they don't deserves get anything to do. Where should we look this time? I remember going through a lot of the uh, later game thinking like, okay, but who's the 15th? Who's the 15th? And I was like, oh wait, it was Tamau, that girl who died a long time ago. That was a little, I mean, it makes two? sense, but it was a little underwhelming. 2065. We have been there. That's where we saw the tripods. It's too dangerous. Okay, let's do one. Sector 1. How about Sector 1? Sector 1 has been searched. Oh. No Sentinel found. I see. Bomber. Doesn't Natsuno go to Sector 1 at some point? Later in the game to get uh, files from the uh, main computer. What's it's like up towards the, the end of her route. Sector 5. 1945. <gasps> oh my god. It's time. It's time. Oh, so we can travel to the past too? It's... Fucking hey, that's time. The Pacific War ended. The Pacific War. Oh my God, we're gonna see more of Best Boy. Let's check it out. Access code approved. Designating sector. I have those exact lines on mine. No way! How cool is this? Life is worth living because Keitaro Miyuro exists. We desperately, so we desperately need more content of him. It, like, I, I just can't write it. I have a million ideas, but I can't sit down and write fanfic. I'm really bad at it. Thought you were saying like that we like we need more like actual official content of him. Well, I mean that too, but like. This building is all old and musty in my time, but it smells like fresh wood. They must have just built the place. Natsuno, why are you sniffing the wood? Why wouldn't she? Fresh wood smells good. Why is she sniffing a building? She's like because going up- she's going up to the fucking poles and sniffing them. Like a freak. You haven't? No, I'm not a freak. <laughs> You don't enjoy the smell of freshly cut things? I don't enjoy the smell of anything. I don't have a fucking sense of smell. Well, that's what people with noses do. We enjoy the- f well, weirdos with noses do. Gross. At least I'm not a wood fetishist. Say what you will about my tastes. At least I'm not a wood fetishist. I don't Come on, I don't fresh wood smells very good. I don't want to fuck a building. Hey, don't knock until you like try it. Dream. What, you've tried fucking a building? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. This all feels like a dream. I don't even know how you would. Check it out, BJ. It's my school in the past. You really can jump back and forth through time, can't you? I know, I know. We have to be careful not to change anything in the past, or else we'll totally screw up the future. If only it were that simple. If we're 40 years in the past, then Dad's only three years old. He's probably at Grandma's house. I'd love to see that. A quick peek wouldn't hurt, would it? There's something old, Natsuno. Man. I also okay. have that line. I don't know if it's the next one, though. So, is the Sentinel is. here? Okay, be quiet. Be quiet! I apologize, he talked too much. Never apologize for BJ or me, you were speaking. I have detected a drone signal. An active Sentinel is present. Yeah, those lines. <laughs> so cute! I should not press this it when the lines classroom. come up. I combined them. The sign looks a little different, though. Found Someone's it. here. The little noises that he makes. We've got to hide. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's here. This is where we get the reaction image. <sighs> and to mouse screen time. So yeah. I this is the first time that we actually see Tamao Karabe. Like the Tamao Karabe of this loop. Yes, and it's also one of the only times because Tamao, every version of Tamao does not get much screen time. You can really feel that Tamao is one of the characters that they just didn't really have the time to flesh out. Um, I've said it before. Not sure they really. I've said it before in this series, but in interviews, the staff have said that they only wrote about 50% of the game they wanted to make. So you can really feel in some instances where characters could have gotten more time to be fleshed out, plot points don't really get as much time as they need. A lot of Tamao just kind of doesn't do much. Um, oh, really anything? Another character in particular that straight up does not appear in this game, but was apparently going to be quite a major character in the full version, is one loop ago, Takatoshi Hijiyama. Which I really, really wish we got. I love the, the sound of that. Oh, I, what I would give for this game to basically get the re-release format where the uh, developers get to put in all the ideas they wanted to make in additional content, but, you know, we can't get any of the re-releases I want. Mm, we just have to get Kasumi Yoshizawa Simulator. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh my god. Again, I loved going going through the stuff with no context of no context of who Goto was, because he just shows up in every time period. Girl, Goto san. Goto san. Uh, so oh, who voices Tamao Karabe? Do we know? I will get to that for you. I'm fairly sure we know all of the main 15 and all of the characters that are voiced by the main 15. I believe she is credited since it's just the major characters and for some reason she's considered a major character since she's one of the 15. Yeah, it we- It is I, Bonnie- Sorry, continue? Bonnie Gordon. Bonnie Gordon. Do we know her from anything else? Let me double check. Because I believe the only ones that got credited, unfortunately, are the 15 compatible and their alternate versions, and Ben Diskin as Kutushiba slash 426 slash Fluffy. I unfortunately do not recognize anything else in her IMDb, but uh, she is Silk from Fire Emblem Heroes if anyone played that game. A lot of people played that game. Fire Emblem Heroes is the profitable game in the series. Well, she was that character. I'm pretty a sure you haired nun. I'm pretty sure you could combine literally every dollar the entire Fire Emblem franchise has made without Heroes, multiply that total by ten, and Heroes is still made more. I mean, Heroes has made more than any other Nintendo's uh, mobile apps combined, so. Right on time. <gasps> oh my god. Here's your pill supply for the month. Are these the same ones I had last month? Why do you ask? Please, just be honest with me. Oh, the way that BJ looks at it too. God. <laughs> They're so cute! It's so cute. I literally saved that as a reaction image because it's just fucking adorable. The pills you've been giving me, they let me see the future. But these new pills are different. I feel awful when I take them, and they make me forget what I've seen in my dreams. You must continue your treatment. They'll completely eliminate your nightmares. Nightmares? These don't feel like- Trust me. They'll help you revert to your original state. We're putting an end to this operation. Goto-san, please wait! So... Male student. Um, so one of the goals I've said I'm trying to aim for in this specific playthrough is getting a better understanding of Goto as a character. So yeah. here, who is telling Goto to do this? How is Goto getting these pills? Why is Goto getting these pills? 
what is this operation? Are they trying to train to Mao to pilot a sentinel? Why are they I'm doing it this sure. early? We'd have to look on the timeline how early is this, because I think the only way he would have gotten pills that can mess with you would be from Moribora. Mm. I can't forget. It's our only hope of survival. Looks to the camera. At the camera. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. It's our only hope of survival. Uh, it's no use. I can't remember. The it is so weird that pass. she's supposed to be the same age as everyone else. She looks and sounds so much older. Mm. Which is fitting, considering the 2188 version of Tamao was significantly older than everyone else. That is true, but I don't think that would affect your DNA. <laughs> Well, hey, you want to die on the hill that this version of Yuki and Natsuno is incest, so I'm going to die on the hill that this version of Tamao is naturally more mature, because the 2188 version of Tamao was like 120 or some shit. That's not how DNA works! Yeah, well, fucking, you're not thinking about how DNA works either. And also, it's fiction, this is a game talking about nanotechnology and video game simulations to terraform planets. Well, that's true. There is true. wiggle room. Well, that's true, it, it, it's like, it does have a lot of themes of, you know, of nurture and nature, being biologically the same but still being your own person. It very much plays on the idea of, even though you are biologically, through DNA, the exact same thing, you are also nothing alike, um, your other counterparts. It's okay, you can be wrong. No. That's a theme of I the can't thing. Remember what are you anything? talking about? Was that Goto-senpai? How's that even possible? How could he be here? Forty years in the past. Maybe it was his grandpa. Looked just like him. That is anime logic. Huh? The place that woman mentioned. All right, Ayame Pass. Wait, you mean where the park is? There is no park in 1945. Let's go. A sentinel at Ayame Pass. Let's go. Get in the bag, BJ. Get in my fun bags, Miura. Lamel. Get in the bag, Nebby. If you remember that joke. Who? That was a meme when Pokemon Sun and Moon came out because uh, Nebby would always escape from oh, all these bags. The fucking, and she spent. The space Pokemon thing. Yep. Yeah, oh yeah, God. and she basically spent the whole- Half her lines were, Nebby, get in the bag. Nebby, get in the bag. Get in the bag, Nebby. That was like half her lines. I was too busy thirsting for Kiawe. You know, as like an 11-year-old. Can you try not to ditch me? But He's I mean, priorities. Sun and Moon was kind of meh anyway. It has some nice men in it. There's some gameplay additions I like. It's got fucking... Oh, I think his name is Nanu, the police officer dude. Oh yeah, him, him, him. Dilf vibes. And also yeah, it Guzma. Was a game, yeah, it's a game I thought was decent when I first played it. Uh, but hindsight is twenty twenty, and I appreciate it more now. Yeah. You know what they say about Pokemon? They keep on... They keep on revolutionizing the concept of the minimum viable product. Yep. But yes, Guzmo. Can't believe we're running around in a military base. Because at this point, it's been proven millions of people will buy literal dog shit if there's a Pokemon stamp on it. Like at this yeah. point, Pokemon yeah. is just guaranteed to sell tens of millions of copies. It can't yeah. not. It is too big to fail. It's yeah. the it's the most profitable media franchise on the planet. I don't think that's ever going to change at this point. Pokemon I don't think is. So either. They don't need to try anymore, and the past 10 years have just proven that, if anything, trying is a waste of time and money, 
because it's not going to increase their sales meaningfully enough to be worth it when they already make such a ridiculous quantity of money. Yeah. And I just say that kind of disappointed and sad and defeated, because that's just what is what the modern games make me feel now. It's just, I I was burned, and I'm good. I mean, I did play some of Legends Arceus, and it is... It does feel like it's a, a different experience that they are trying, but let's be honest, that's not gonna be the norm. That's not gonna be the norm. In the and series. also, it still looked disgustingly terrible. Oh, absolutely. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, absolutely. It's not a. It is a rough-looking game Remember? that needed two more years of development time, but I could that they were trying. Remember when we were shitting on Sword and Shield for how bad those games looked, and then Sword and Shield is not even the worst looking games. Somehow the next ones looked worse. Yeah. Depressing. Anyway, back to a game that doesn't make me depressed. What if they find us? Back to a game that is beautiful looking and was given all the time it needed to, to the point where it was delayed off the Vita. So this is the Sentinel. It's huge! How does someone lose something so freaking big? The Sentinels are linked to the Shifter. It was shifted here. Crazy. Anyhow, I'm just glad we found it. This is Sentinel number 19. 19. Um... Does it list them here? Probably not. I don't know who inherits that one. 19 might be Miura's. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think you're right, it is Miura's, because uh, BJ's sentinel he gives to Natsuno. So yeah, this mm. probably is Miura's. Because 18 is um, Miyuki Inaba. Yeah. And then 12 is taken up by two people, so it's... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yeah. That, that counts for the 13 participants. 18's already taken by Miyuki and Arba. And 12 is shared by two people. Hmm. So what would have been to Mao's? I'm actually not sure, certain. Because I'm, I'm trying to figure out, because I, as I remember, BJ gives actually in, in a little info on who uh, was the original pilot of 19, but he doesn't say exactly who it is. And who would have been Hijiyama's for that matter? Because Okino gives Hijiyama his one. Yeah, I recall this is the only Sentinel currently in 1945, and yeah, you know... She, Miura was given the Nana Machine, so was Hijiyama. Wait, so it's the wrong one? Sentinel number 17. Right, you said number 17. Correct. We're searching for Sentinel number 17. Number 19. Belong to a comrade. We're getting the first sign of an actual personality. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you can actually hear it in his voice where, you know, the literal dots are linking together. Number 19, belong to a comrade. I cannot pilot his sentinel. So that comrade... That, That's what I'm trying to figure out. Was that Sekigahara? His BJ and Sekigahara were friends. They were, but... I'm gonna say no, because I remember the line he says next. Oh. What happened to him? I have confirmed a cease in his vital functions. Okay, that would be Hijiyama from one loop ago then. Do you mean he's uh, oh. Rip. Correct. He is dead. Unfortunate, I would have loved to meet him. PJ. A critical change has been detected. Huh? The Sentinel's primary system has been altered. That's right, because Okino's fucked with it, I think. I don't really know what that means. Maybe one of the people here did something to it. That would be impossible with the technology of this era. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at 0800. It's him! I know that 
I know that voice. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at 0800. It's the boy. The boy. Someone's coming. Which means we need you to You gotta run, run for it not to know. No, it's not the time. You've gotta hide. You better get in my bag. Him. I don't understand. Why is Professor Doji suspending operations? I know Aww. the Sentinel like the back of my hand, and I have no problem taking it to the front lines. Even there, I can perform at full power. So, why? All right, enough. I'm starting to sound like Takatoshi san. Nothing to get riled up over. I'm sure the people in charge have their reasons. Once the order comes, I'll be ready to lay down my life. And even if it never does, I'll still be ready. Giving it all for his homeland. Oh boy. He's gonna fight too? I feel like Hijiyama and Miura are very, very different kinds of soldiers. Because Hijiyama just does it for the pride of his nation. Whereas Miura, Absolutely. I think Miura only does it to protect the people he loves. Yes, he's not yes. protecting his country, he's protecting his loved ones. Which is a very different kind of soldier mentality that I think is a lot nicer. I think it's a lot more interesting. Um, because, let's be real here, Hijiyama has patriotism brainworms. Pretty much, pretty um, much. I do find both very interesting, but in very, very different way ways. Because I personally find the idea that, yeah, someone basically having patriarchy brainworms, as you say, in itself very interesting and very reflective of the time period he's grown up in, very reflective of the pride he was told to have, mm. and how willing he's... or how ready he is to do whatever it takes for that pride. And it's not like Miura doesn't have pride for um, his country, as we'll see when we go through his route, but it, yeah, you're right, it comes from a much more humble place of wanting to protect the people in his country, mm. rather than the pride, rather than for the country as a symbol. I do love Dang. both, but I do think now Miura coming from the other way. A has a bit more meat to chew on for it. Jeez. Okino! Okino! Speak of the devil. It's been a while, number 19. Welcome to Femboy Hooters. Let's have a look at you. Huh. Well, it looks like an alternate route was successfully created. It actually worked. And on my second test subject, no less. That's me, Yura, I think. I think this is Okino trying to make the system where people touching Miura's forehead transfers the nano machines that you need to activate a sentinel. Yeah. So who was the first test subject? Definitely Hijiyama, because if you um. remember when, um, as if you remember the prologue, uh, Okino was talking about, you know, putting the nano machines in Hijiyama, is like, you probably don't remember that, anesthesia and all. Oh, uh, yeah. So he was likely the first, and it wasn't, and it didn't, you know, it, it didn't wor work, but it did make him Sentinel compatible. Um, then it actually worked with Miura. Impressive, Keitaro Miura. He is impressive. That, he, he's a very impressive Nano machine boy. reconstruction agitates the brain, but you endured the process without losing your mind. God, it's stuff like this that's just... If I ever do write fanfiction for this game, which I want to, I just- I'm really, really bad at sitting down and forcing myself to write, but- Yeah. God, I- I have so many ideas for Miura in particular. Like, he- he would absolutely be willing to be tortured for hours and hours and hours on end, and he would have the mental fortitude to withstand it in a way that I don't think many of the other people here would. Hmm. Yeah. I, th I think Sekigahara would probably withstand it. Goto would probably withstand it. Maybe Tamao? 
No, I don't think so. I mean, we don't know enough about her today, so... Probably Yuki, but Yuki... You can definitely play it into Yuki in a few specific ways. Like, Yuki has a high pain tolerance for herself, but as soon as you threaten someone else, she'll start to cave. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, and Okino, because, well, Okino. With this data, I'll be able to take over the Sentinels. Everyone knows Ash Ketchum can never die. Goodness, <laughs> I should be on my way. Professor Doji's security show, detail yeah. will return any moment. Takatoshi Mon, I choose you. Use Yaki Sobapan. As promised, I'll remove the lock on the Sentinel. And there's one more thing I'd like to do, just for good measure. There we go. As long as they come into contact with Miura Kun, the data should spread to the others. Therefore, explaining Jiro in the prologue. Um, yep. And I love that we're already getting answers to some of the questions we have. There's gonna be a lot more questions that the game raises, but... Yeah, based ev yeah, with every question it answers, it raises two more. But this isn't like... Sometimes more. This isn't like, for example, Umineko when they cry, which, while I do love it, it really has just... It is too obtuse, it takes way too long for it to start telling you literally anything. I mean, I can pick up a few things, but yeah, I, I don't you think have, a lot of it is gonna... You have theories. It won't yeah. confirm anything until episode 3 at the earliest. Yeah, I'm trying my best, but I can tell that... It's not gonna start fully making sense until it actually tells me. Yeah, the fact that it takes like 60 hours for it to start telling you literally anything. Not good. Um, he rightfully I mean, got I'm complaints for that. Yeah, but I mean, I'm still interested enough in it to keep theory crafting while I go through it. Mm. I just really like that 13 Sentinels keeps giving you theory crafting material, but is also willing to actually confirm shit fairly early on in the game. Because. Yeah. We are now 20% of the way through Remembrance. Um, so we're actually a decent chunk of the way into the game now, now that I think about it. We're not in, like, tutorial anymore. Yeah. And yeah, it is answering some stuff, but it's also giving you a lot more questions. Mm. Who was that guy? Very should leave. Let's hurry. Yeah, you're right. See, this is what I remember when it comes to Natsuno's roots being long. We're here, BJ. If I remember the next line, it's another one I have a recording of. Someone's coming. Quick, hide! Quick, put the screen away. Make yourself decent. You can't greet him yet. Almost there. Gotta be oh, it's Okino. Oh, okay, look, I love Okino, but it's not the boy I wanted to see right now. I think we see him next. I suppose him in italics. The professor was the right choice. The settings have been tampered with. Was someone just here? Uh -oh. It seems this gate has been compromised as well. I'll set it back to its original key. Oh. I'd best take my leave. Now, I believe the way that Natsuno then gets home from this point is... Natsuno comes home with Miura when Miura gets forcefully shifted, yes, but they're split yes, apart when they arrive. Uh, actually, no, that's not what happens when they arrive. Because Miura's alone is, when they arrive. They are. Uh, what happens is that Miura is that Natsuno Discord's eating you. No, I'm explaining a part that okay, I actually there remember. There we go. Natsuno sneaks in this back compartment onto the Sentinel, 
And when they arrive back in 1985, uh, Miura gets out first and, you know, makes a break for it. And then Natsuno gets out after. So they both arrive in the same Sentinel at the same time, but they get out of it at different points. Oh, right, yes. Did he just use the gate? Is he an alien too? He changed the key. I can no longer shift. Seriously? We can't go home? Analysis will Rip. be complete in 78 hours and 24 minutes. I can't stay here that long. Can't we find another way back to the future? The gate and Three the hold are the only safe methods of shifting. The Sentinel. What was that just now? Uh oh! Someone else is coming. It's him. Busted. You can't hide from him forever. It came from around here, I think. Tokisaka Shrine. I just realized, this is when we unlock Miura, isn't it? Mm hmm It is! This is when we unlock him! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! And I, I think Natsuno locks here too. Mm -hmm. I think Natsuno locks here, which means, next episode, we are finally starting him! Oh, I have been waiting months! Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for like half a year for this. Yes. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. And Shihiro's probably worried about me. You can hear the humor in his voice when he says not likely. I love that. I love that so much. That you can always hear when when they're smiling. <laughs> Not likely. State your name. I know you're there. Freeze! I can run for it! Nope. Who are you? I, what a cliffhanger. I am your beard. What a lit cliffhanger. Tokisaka Shrine. The gate that lets you travel to another era is located right past the archway. The new old building, mysterious motives, oh, yeah. transcending space and time, which means all of that happens. A fair bit before she learns that Yuki is working with the SIU. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Which means all of this stretch is going to be Miura and Natsuno in 1945 before the Sector 5 attack. Yeah. Especially, Especially since this the, scene yeah. is Chihiro getting kidnapped, so this is fresh immediately after. Yep, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. It's all coming together. Yep, and we're just missing one scene, and we've seen like, all of the rest up there. But then, of course, oh, it's almost time. It's oh, almost I can time. feel it. Oh, you know I, it, you, I've literally you know been waiting for this moment for like half a year. I started this series for this character. Oh my god, it's here. Oh my off, god, it's... it's here. Come on. This is... Here yeah. comes the boy. The boy. Oh my god. I love him. Oh, best boy. The res his respectful and he's like in his respectful strict pose with oh he takes off his hat like I'm trying uh, I'm trying not to make high pitched squeals here. There are some characters where it is impossible. Which means we now have eleven characters. He's literally next in the circuit, you're right. We are doing him next. Okay. And she's shoot. locked. We shoot, know you what will that have means. to wait. It's oh, time. It's time. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
time! Also, I love how, as you see with the different scenes that each person has, some of them are just the classroom, the PTSD zone, the fucking house, uh, the... Fuck, what's this district called? It's in the mystery files. Well, downtown. Downtown. Downtown district. Renya Goto's at the park because he spends most of his time there in the end game. We've got the track room. We've got Okino's base. Shu's apartment. The rooftop. The uh -huh. nurse's office. Oh, that's fitting. Here, we have a fucking war zone. We have burning ruins. Which is just. That that's a tone setter. Considering this is the first thing you see with Miura, you get a burning war zone, and then the first scene of his prologue is one of the best scenes in the game. But I'm being an idiot, we need to cut off the episode here before I just jump straight into this. Um, We're both excited. We're both so excited. I, I love Miura. I, 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 I am ridiculously excited for this. It's this is going to be fun. So, yes. next episode, we are jumping into Best Boy's Story. This has been Hamburger Chariot and Mirth Mouser signing out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified on every new upload. We'll catch you in the next episode. This is us signing out. See ya, everybody. See you real soon.